Hi, I'm Shazad Haq and welcome to our preview of the SEA Games football final that will happen on the 15th of June. Thailand take on Myanmar. Thailand have been the outstanding team so far of this tournament, came in as favourites and have deservedly got their place in this Blue Ribbon event. Myanmar have been a surprise package and have been really everyone's underdog team. Let's see how that will pan out. To talk about this, we've got two Singapore internationals with us, Lim Tong Hai and John Wilkinson. Guys, great to have you with us. Tell us the overview of this game. What can we expect from this match? Well, I, uh, Myanmar will always be the underdogs, as everybody knows. But then again, you never know. Uh, they will probably be playing without any pressure. Whereas for the Thai team, you know, everybody knows there is a hot favourite to win. And uh, they will be also a bit cautious, especially when Vietnam has just tripped in the semi-finals. Yeah. John, yeah. what do you think? Well, I look at, I look at that result, uh, Myanmar beating Vietnam, and I think that will hold Thailand in good stead. Yeah. Um, they will know that they can't go into this final being too complacent uh, yeah. and taking things for granted. But, I mean, come on. It's going to take Myanmar to bring an elephant gun <laughs> to bring down the war elephants. Yeah, I just can't yeah, see yeah. I just can't see them getting anything yeah, from this. They're just on a different planet. On another level. level. <laughs> on a complete another level. Uh, guys, I actually can't wait to talk about Thailand in a mm. while because they've been such a good team. But let's have a look at how both these teams made their way to the final. <laughs> Okay guys, let's have a look at uh, the group stages at least. And we start with Group A, Myanmar, topping Group A fairly comfortably in the end. I think uh, when they played against uh, the Indonesia in the first game, I think they, they probably drew the first blood. And uh, that probably put them on a good platform. And then when they play against the Philippines and Cambodia, uh, against Singapore, the, the pressure is a little bit off. And when finally we play against a Cambodian team, even though they were, lo they were you know, losing 3-1 in the first half, I mean, uh, towards the end, uh, somehow they managed to get some uh, uh, zest from, yeah, from nowhere and, and scored yeah. two goals within five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that points to the fact that they're one of the most senior teams mm. in this competition. Mm. And you know what it's like, Tom Hai, when, when you have some bigger characters in yeah. the side, they can pull the, the younger yeah. players up, some of the 18, 19 mm. year olds that they have, the 22, 23 year olds seem to pull the other players up um, against Cambodia. And, Myanmar showed probably the most character out of yeah. all the teams in this competition so far. So that's a real strength. But having said that, they also have about four or five international not here playing. Right. They are competing in the pre-World Cup qualifier. Correct. And uh, having said that, the, the, the coach must have done a tremendous job. Well, we know who the coach the, is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the senior well, we'll yeah. talk yeah. about Raddy in, in a very short yeah. while. But let's look at Group B where mm. Thailand were the mm. only team with a 100% record mm. and blew everyone away. Well, for Thailand, I think there's no need to say they are, they are of a different class. And uh, even though they only win very narrowly against uh, Malaysia and Timor Leste, uh, having only considered one goal, and that also it takes a brilliant goal to get past the goalkeeper. Well, I was, well, I was surprised because we, we always expect Thailand to be swashbuckling, mm. especially in the flats, mm. getting crosses mm. in, mm. scoring mm. goals, mm. and they scored 16. Mm. But if you're like me, Tom, I'm so surprised about the defence. I know it's the same back four that was yeah. in the AFF Suzuki Cup, but I'm right. surprised conceding only one goal in a gruelling schedule. I mean, that takes concentration and the organisation from the two centre backs in particular, and the full backs chip in with goal in the goals four column as well. So it's not a rigid back four. Mm. The centre backs have to play a huge part in that. Yeah. Okay, thanks for that, guys. Uh, let's have a look then at how those semi finals panned out. Mm.
All right, so we've just seen how they played in the semi-finals, the two uh, teams, uh, Thailand and Myanmar. Uh, you couldn't get two more different semi-finals, guys. Um, before we look into them, how do you think the semi-finals will affect the way they play in the finals? Well, for Myanmar, I think uh, they were the heavy underdogs. And uh, against Vietnam, Vietnam were, were thinking that they, they had it easy. They, they're probably going to have it easy, but uh, they probably will be left ruining their missed chances. And Myanmar uh, never say that attitude, and they keep on fighting. And uh, maybe by a stroke of luck, they managed to get a winning goal. And they defended very, very well. Yeah, and I look, I look at Myanmar and I think that they were, they were under the cosh, they were under yeah. heavy pressure against yeah. Vietnam all throughout the game, yeah. but they came through, they stifled Vietnam, yeah. Vietnam didn't take their chances, they're going to be hoping that's going to be the case in the final, and yeah. Myanmar would have looked at the, the way Indonesia set up against yeah. Thailand, and Indonesia gave it a really good go the first 10 minutes, yeah. had a few chances, but it got stretched in midfield, and if you don't take your chances against Thailand, Thailand grow into games, they yeah. don't start games actually that great, Thailand, yeah. they feel you out, see where the gaps are and then they really hit you for six yeah. and I think Myanmar will look at that game yeah. um, the way having Indonesia that, set up yeah. and they'll, they'll try and be nice and defensive True. and stifle Thailand True. because having said that I think the Indonesian would have been, the game would be very much different if the Indonesia were to score the first free kick that they had and uh, the, right. the, the Thai keeper was uh, excellent in, in keeping the goal safe there. Yeah, a brilliant save and uh, ever since then there was no turning back for the Thai team. You know, they were just playing so fluid football. Well, what was, was amazing, Tonghai, you, mm. you mentioned that free kick. It was a great save. Yeah. And then that was when Thailand scored their first goal. Yeah. It, it was 35 seconds after the free kick came. Yeah. They went up the other end. Sucker punch, wasn't it? Five yeah. passes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, back post finish, yeah. uh, tap in, and that was that. That was done. That was all she wrote. It, the culture was that fast, you know. It's so, so fluid and so fast body. Man. Guys, is it safe to say that the semi-final Myanmar versus Vietnam is almost like a dress rehearsal? Myanmar will, will know it's a very similar kind of team uh, mm. that Thailand will have the same kind of tactics that Vietnam mm. did. I, I think so, yeah. I don't think it's any secret the way that, that Thailand want to play uh, and the way that Myanmar are going to have to play. Mm. I, if Myanmar had their choice, they'd like to dominate midfield, play some uh, short little <laughs> passes, some triangles all over the pitch, get some crosses in and score goals. Mm. It's not going to be like that against a, a superior Thai side, mm. technically superior. but. Thailand aren't in completely unbeatable. I mean, we mm -hmm. go back to the very first game Thailand played. Um, David Booth's Lao side, little, mm -hmm. little diminutive Lao side, got him behind in one-on-one -on -one situations on, on, on a few occasions. The Thai defence do push quite high. And if you have some pace that Myanmar do, you can get in behind. But, you know, Myanmar are going to be under so much pressure without this game. They're going to have to ride their luck and they're going to have to rely on Thailand having an off day. Uh, I have to agree with uh, what, what John has said because chances are Myanmar will have to rely heavily on the counter attacks and uh, as you know that uh, it's a different, uh, they are different uh, team altogether and the Thai is so superior as compared to uh, Myanmar but that's it. We saw Myanmar, Myanmar Vietnam, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Myanmar chances are they are playing without any pressure yeah. and players perform at their best mm. when they are playing without any pressure. Yeah. Whereas the Thai, they'll probably be a little bit more cautious now when they want to go for a counter-attack, they should not leave the back open. Yeah. When we look at the way that uh, uh, Myanmar have had to resolutely defend mm. for 90 minutes, mm. that's another game, mm. about 48 hours later, mm. they're going to have to do the same thing all mm. over again. Mm. That's not easy for them, is it's it? It's not easy. It's not easy. It's harder to work without the ball than to work with Correct. it. Correct. <laughs> and we always say, and you say in coaching, yeah, Tonghai, yeah. don't we, that the ball moves faster than you ever can. Yeah. And that was the thing that Thailand did in their semi-final mm. against Indonesia. Mm. They made the ball do the running. And, and we were just talking before we came mm. on air, we were talking about it's always the champion team mm. that is the fittest, fittest in any tournament. Yeah. And I look at Thailand, they look yeah. the fittest side for me. And not only that, they have this uh, telepathy among the players, you know, if you look at certain players there, and it's like you can see the left midfield and suddenly they end up on the right side of the mm. field yeah. and just all over the shop. But then again, they know the specific place will be ought to be taken up and there will be people there mm. and they can just pass the ball there without knowing without having to look at it scary isn't yeah, it yeah it's scary <laughs> and, and just points that these boys have been together for a long together. time together yeah for a long you time you know yeah. uh, Katsusuk and a uh, friend of yours Chok uh, Tawai they, they've had these boys group of boys for a long time mm. and uh, it's really bearing fruit mm. Let, let's talk a bit more about the, 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 the two coaches involved mm. Radhi Avramovic mm. how much of an impact has he had on Myanmar football since he's uh, taken over of course you guys know that he was involved in the Singapore setup for a long time um, so what's his impact on this well Raddy was very fortunate when he came into Singapore he had a lot of he had a good side mm. he had some senior players 
and he's a good coach with senior players because mm. he kind of lets you get on with what you need to get on with. It's, a, it's completely different for, say, um, Katizuk and Cho because mm. he's come in and it's, it's a young, younger team at senior mm. level and, of course, mm. now under 23s. And it's very different molding young players than letting senior players get on you, with things. Yeah, you, you probably have to have a good balance knowing how to man manage players right now. Frankly, at that level, teaching them how to play football, yeah. I don't think that's the way to go. No. It's more of a man management uh, style right now and, and Radi probably has done a great job there and then talent scouting the, yeah. the players from nowhere. Mm. And whereas for Chok Tawi and, and uh, Ketisu, it's uh, probably using their influence yeah. as a former player mm. and they are, they are excellent in their play. And uh, from there, and uh, the, the players probably look up to them and that's how they probably motivate the young Well, that's, that's exactly right. Mm. The, the, the Tong Hai said, if you look at Radia Abramovich, I don't think he's technically mm. as good a coach as Katis. Yeah, right. Um, but what he is good at is man management, individual you know, player care. And you look at uh, Katis and, and Chok Tawi, yeah. they don't, they don't yeah. have to do yeah. a lot of yeah. man managing, yeah. I don't yeah. think, mm. with those type players because they look so hungry. Yeah. The desire is yeah. incredible. Yeah. Probably it's also from the background that they're from. Yeah. They know that yeah. it's, it's the desire sure. to, to win. Hungry for yeah, success. They're, they're very hungry for yeah. success. Even for Thai, I mean, they have been uh, champions for a few times. And then, but Myanmar, I tell you, the players, gosh, they just fight for every ball. They just put their bodies there against yeah. the, the Vietnam team. And at all costs, yeah. you know, not, 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 not thinking about any getting any injuries or anything like that. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the team that you guys can't mm. stop talking about Thailand, <laughs> really, because everyone has been gushing yeah. about just how good they are. As you've already said, it's mm. a bit scary to see yeah. the telepathy that they show. Yeah. But it's, it's really from, from back all the way up to the front, isn't it, that they are yeah. just a very complete team, aren't they? Well, I think not only the goalkeeper, but the, the captain, number six, Saraj, I think he's an excellent player, a good leader on the field. And then not only can he defend, but the way he breaks the opponent uh, attack and then launch the, the counter attack and he's so comfortable with the ball and it's amazing to watch him play yeah yeah i mean it's such a balanced side yeah. such a balanced side um people are asking me about the weaknesses that mm. thailand had coming into this tournament and i was just i was saying well from my experience playing against them if you put early crosses into the yeah. box yeah. they don't defend them very well mm. i still think they don't defend them and I'm talking about on an Asian level, yeah. you know, like Korea, um, Japan, some of the West Asian countries. Mm. I still don't just think they defend crosses as well as they do. Mm. But at this level, I mean, they don't give anybody a sniff at the moment. They right. really don't. Mm -hmm. And Sarach, mm -hmm. as Tong Hai said, is partly responsible. His partner, yeah. Titi Pan, as well, I think yeah. is fantastic. And it's the fact these defenders break into midfield mm -hmm. and start yeah. play off. Mm. You know, they, want, they read the game so well, they're aggressive. But with the ball at their feet, which yeah. is rare, it's it's very rare for the region to get real strong stoic defense uh, defenders that can come out into midfield yeah. and play. And and to add on to that, John, I mean, somehow Thailand has been blessed with a lot of good ball players. Mm. You know, back then they have yeah. Suraja, they have. Well, I was going to ask you. Yeah. I was going to ask you because you've you've played with and against yeah. some fantastic midfielders, creative midfielders yes, from yes. Thailand, like Tawan. Tawan Sripan, Fantastic. Yeah. Chai Man, who I've played yeah. with. It's yeah. an endless uh, assembly line, isn't yeah. it? Okay, guys, uh, let's get from you one player from each team that you think will be key for this final. Well, I think, yeah. <laughs> Start with well, I think for Thailand, I, I hope that uh, I hope to be able to see Nuru playing again because this guy is probably the key uh, together with Chanatip because when Chanatip was being fully, uh, was so tightly marked and then he's the one who's pulling all the strings and you can see that he's almost probably covered every uh, blade of the grass <laughs> in, 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 in National Stadium and, and I think he deserves uh, to be playing and I hope to see him play again. You know, the kind of telepathy that he has with Chanatip there is excellent. Yeah, um, there's, there's so many key players, yeah. not just one. I mean, you look at Chanatip, I think he's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. 20 years old, the only millionaire footballer in the competition. And, and it's always great to see a little left footer as well. For some <laughs> reason, they just look better. They yeah. just look tidier. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's, he's got everything. Rung Rat as well, who's yeah. got, who got the hat trick mm -hmm. um, coming on on the back post. Just doesn't do much in build-up, which just is like Freddie Lundberg runs towards the back post, <laughs> tapping, I think he's absolutely yeah. fantastic. But for me, the star of the show so far, Chana Tip Songkrasin, I think he's absolutely fantastic. Okay, and uh, what about for Myanmar? Well, for Myanmar, I think what uh, for go the goalkeeper, Poi, uh, yeah. I think he has done a great job in uh, the semi-finals against uh, Vietnam. He's he single-handedly kept yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably the one who kept them in the game. Uh, with splendid save in the first in the first half and then that probably he made himself so big by coming out of the goal and then make himself and narrow the angle for the for the strikers and and i think that he probably will be key 
in how Myanmar will perform in the, in the finals. Okay, guys, from what you say, I think it's pretty obvious uh, who you think is going to win, but give us a score prediction. <laughs> Come on, you got one. Best, you got <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that uh, for Myanmar to have any result of it, I think they have to be very, very uh, the defence has got to be working over time. But having said that, I think they still cannot hold on to the attack or the tie. I, I think that uh, it is going to be uh, if, uh, two goals, or maybe a three goals uh, uh, win for the tie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, I look at this and I'm absolutely right. Uh, Tom, I said the defence has got to be great. be interesting to see if Myanmar go ahead in the game and scare yeah. Thailand because they've yeah. never had to fight back in this yeah. tournament yet. So it's going to be interesting. I just can't see Myanmar getting anything positive out of this game. Yeah. So I'm thinking Thailand to win by at least a two goal margin. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot to Lim Tong Hai and John Wilkinson. A fairly comprehensive win is a prediction for Thailand, but we've seen what Myanmar can do. They have a fantastic support. It's going to be great at the National Stadium. We really look forward to seeing how that final plays out.